you're going to be doing any woodworking at all, you're going to need to learn how to do edge gluing where you take smaller pieces of wood and glue them together into a large panel. That's called a classic butt joint. I'm going to show you how to do this basic but important technique. So to get started in this technique, you got to prepare your stock. Start by cutting it to length. You're going to want one face, 90 degrees to the edges. Any edges that are going to be glued up one to another need to be perfectly flat and square to that face. And you do that on a joiner. The other thing to consider is if you see the arc of the end grain, if you're using flat sound wood like this, you're going to want to alternate those arcs and that will help keep the panel from warping later on. Now another thing to keep in mind is composing the panel. And all that means is put your boards down as you think you're going to clamp them together. Look at the grain pattern and see if it's pleasing. It's entirely subjective. Now in this case, it's going to be a painted panel. So that's really not a consideration. But imagine if this was quarter sawn white oak or a lovely piece of walnut. You wouldn't be painting those panels. So you need to compose the panels. And then the final thing that you need to keep in mind is before you put any glue on it, you want to test your glue up clamp everything securely and make sure that all the boards align well. So now I've dry clamped this panel completely. I can see that all of the seams are closed tightly. They're going to be great. Notice that I put the clamps on both faces of the panel. I think that that balances it out and makes it so it doesn't uh, warp as I'm gluing it up. So now that I've got this panel composed, I know which order I want my boards to be in. I'm going to use this thing. It's called a traditional cabinet maker's V and what it does is help me from getting confused later on. I'll get these boards back in exactly the right order. Now we're going to do some gluing. You'll notice I threw some cardboard underneath the setup here. Now what you want to do for your best results is to get a smooth coat of glue, smooth layer of glue on both edges that will be joined together. Where you don't want the glue is on the face. So now I'm going to assemble them in the way that they were originally laid out. You can see that with a V. I like to rub them together a little bit, get a little tack going. And now it's ready to clamp them up. Now you're going to see there's a little glue squeeze out. That is a good thing. You want a little bit of glue squeeze out. The controversy comes when you talk to people about when they prefer to remove that glue squeeze out. Do you do it right away with a wet rag? Do you wait for it to get kind of rubbery and scrape it off with a chisel? Or do you wait until it glues hard, the glue is hard, and then sand it off? I prefer to let it get kind of rubbery and then scrape it off with a chisel. I don't like to do all that extra work. So there you go. Leave the panel glued up. It'll bond in about, tack in about 20 minutes, but it should really wait for an hour or two hours before you actually work on a panel that you glued up that way. So that's all there is to it. We took four pieces of wood, glued them up into a single large panel. These glue joints are so solid that the wood will break before the glue joint actually breaks. I'm Rob Johnstone from Woodworkers Journal. I hope you learned a couple of things here. Keep on making sawdust.